good hike. This is a beautiful morning. Break the sun for your daily headlines. Good hike. It really is a beautiful day today. The sun's shining. The birds are shining all over the cars of everyone who can't afford private parking spaces. What's not to like? Well, the world's about to come to an end, according to a bunch of scruffy dipsticks trying to bring London to its knees. What's it all about? So the planet's warmed up a couple of degrees. Doesn't sound like much. It's 14 degrees in London outside as I speak. And that's projected to go up to around 20 by lunchtime. So what's a couple of degrees globally between friends? Reduce emissions, they say, while gorging themselves on the kind of Whole Foods garbage that makes you fart yourself halfway across the galaxy. You might have seen me good pal Adam Bolton making a stone cold <laughs> of that eco loon on Sky News yesterday. You're just a, you know, you're a load of incompetent, middle class, self indulgent people who want to tell us how to live our lives. That's what you are, isn't it? And you sound to me like a right wing fascist. Beautiful viewing, real fox tear stuff. Yes, I really would go that far. Right, let's round up the papers. Let's round up the papers. Metro's leading with scruffy c**ts. But it's not clear if anyone will actually be able to get the tube in order to read it. Said c**ts are apparently gluing themselves to trains, making them that much harder to arrest. So, let's hope those dipsticks with Pritstick get nicked quick. <clears throat> Telegraph. More scruffy c**ts. With a nice little dig at Mayor Khan throwing in for good measure. Always good to see. Let's have a more traditional mayor next time, please. Ah, uh, Daily Mail's blaming the police. Interesting angle. Hope it stirs them into an altogether more authoritarian approach. Uh, Independence also going with a story about pigs. Something about David Cameron, I think. I don't know. Oh, I can't be fucked to read it. It's the Independent, for fuck's sake. Uh, Daily Mirror, as usual, is a steaming pile of tarantula shite. Don't know if you've ever had to shovel tarantula shite off your front porch. But fuck me, can those fuckers shite. Uh, Guardian's always a corker, if you're looking to stroke your chin into the shape of a scorpion's ass. Ooh, something about the concentration of wealth? Let's just set fire to that. Uh, Times, Farage party on calls for EU elections win, lovely stuff, nice traditional party leader he is. Look forward to him bringing the whole organisation crashing to its knees from the inside. Ah, here we go, the sun. Can I get the jingle? Ah, me producers are a bit busy with something. I'll have to do the jingle myself. Read the sun, oh, cunts. Shit. Oh, shit. All right, our front page today is a real doozy. The really high school. Stoned kids collapse. This story's got a bit of everything. Schoolgirls and drugs. Seems a gaggle of young Sheilas got high as kites and started hallucinating at school after noshing on some brownies. But even they weren't fuckwitted enough to glue themselves to a train. Bail, get the fuck out of here! Finally, Daily Star is going with tits. Solid stuff, ever reliable. Alright, that's your lot. It's getting a bit Notre Dame Cathedral in here, so probably about time I made like me bowels after half a gallon of prune juice and evacuated. Tune in tomorrow for more good... Oh, I'm just going to get the fuck out of here.